welcome to another episode of The Toy Room, and today I have something very cool that my friends have surprised me with that, um, tell you what, a lot can be said for having great friends. Uh, a few weeks ago, you all know, Force Friday, we did a special episode, and uh, one of the things that I found out about was this, the Kylo Ren FX lightsaber. Now, if you know me, you know that I have uh, about seven lightsabers to my name. Uh, I've got the Luke Skywalker uh, original lightsaber. I've got the Return of the Jedi green saber. I've got, of course, Darth, v uh, Darth Vader. I've got the Darth Maul double-bladed saber, Yoda's saber, and even Mace Windu's purple saber. And this puppy came out, and uh, it's very hard to come by. Uh, my wife talked about possibly ordering it for me and kind of threw hints a little bit along the way, but I didn't think she was serious. And uh, then she went and did something and uh, my friends all chipped in. Thank you, friends. You're welcome, friend. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, this is Aaron and Jesse, our friends. And then also my friends uh, Bud and Jeremy also chipped in with my lovely wife and got this for me for my birthday, which was uh, last month. And so I figured, hey, what better thing to do than to unbox it right now for you? You guys have no idea how hard it's been driving around with this thing. I picked this thing up, uh, just happened to come across it. Uh, spur of the moment, just happened to find it in a bookstore of all places. Uh, <laughs> so I, I called Tiffany and we decided we were gonna go ahead and, and jump on it because we didn't know if we were gonna be able to find it um, at, at the game stop uh, like we were originally planning. So we, we I jumped on it um, and I drove around with this thing in my car, in the box for a week and I couldn't open it up and it was extremely tough. Oh, we'll edit the pictures in afterwards. Aaron took a lot of funny pictures of it and uh, texted us a bunch of funny stuff that he was doing. He basically went on a date with my lightsaber <laughs> before I was able to get my hands on it. Took it to a movie, uh, took it out to, to dinner Took it to dinner, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Jesse was a little uh, uh, jealous. <laughs> so uh, why don't we take a closer look and get right to it. Okay, so here's the box. Uh, it's a pretty cool uh, Black Series box. Uh, it seems like all the cool stuff now is entitled the Black Series. <laughs> and uh, we've got the Kylo Ren Force Effects lightsaber right there. It's got a little diagram of it right here on the outside with some uh, script there that of course is unreadable because <laughs> it's in a different Star Wars language <laughs> that we don't know about. Um, so anyways, you got it here. It just kind of outlines what it is. A cool picture of uh, Kylo Ren there on the outside, which is kind of cool shadow picture back there. Um, and then of course down here, it is marked with Disney and Hasbro and it takes three. What kind of batteries is that? Double A. Is it double? Yeah, it's three AA batteries. So, of course, today, knowing that he was going to bring it by, this is I stocked cool. up. What's that? Kind of looks like a um, like a blueprint on the side. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's like a blueprint here. Now, I'm wondering what the number four thing is. It's on the side of the box. Like it's the on the side. Kind of like how we got all of our guys and they had yeah. numbers next to them. All the action figures that way, but, I mean, I... Don't really think they're coming out with four other lightsabers, three other lightsabers. Maybe there yeah, are. We know of. Maybe there's a bunch of different lightsabers coming out. I don't know. But yeah, as, as uh, Aaron said here, you got some diagrams. Star Wars. This side doesn't really have anything on it, just the price tag. And of course, they all come standard with this hole in the box. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, we haven't asked Aaron any questions about <laughs> at all. <laughs> Because he took it on a date. So. <laughs> Anyways, do that that's with what strong. you will. Yeah, that's got to make it to the final cut. <laughs> <laughs> on the back here, uh, we see what it looks like. Uh, it's got a little diagram here. It says uh, it's got three blades for realistic light effects. It's kind of like a, a like a shaving razor. It's got, but it's got. I like four blades in there. Three mind. blades. <laughs> three blades. Authentic movie sound effects. Real metal hilt. A display stand and then it's got that in three different languages actually four if you count English but three different ones besides English uh, then of course you got all this cool stuff down here the address and all that stuff you just open it already. I will open it yes and of course the diagram and it's got this cool little uh, 
stand that's different. It's actually different than all of my other sabers. Uh, all my other sabers come with uh, just this uh, uh, black case. Of course, they were all uh, master replica sabers. Uh, so I'm interested to see how this gets set up on this stand. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and open it. All right, I'm gonna use a little knife here to cut the tape. I'm so excited. I was gonna say, I feel like a, an adult watching a child open up a... <laughs> <laughs> hey. Pretty much. Yep, that's what I said, man. I turned 39 years old this year and you would have never known it from the presents that I got for my birthday. So, and, and you know what, honestly, I can honestly say with each lightsaber that I've gotten from the time that I got my first two, there's just nothing like, like getting a lightsaber. I, there's just something about getting a lightsaber that is amazing. And so Tiffany, why don't you go ahead and come on over here with the camera, whoops, I gotta cut some more tape It's here. a saber thing you wouldn't understand. It's a saber thing. Should have taken out the lightsaber and put it on a picture of a troll face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, taking it out of the box before I even got it. Hey, we were robbed. Okay. Are you ready? The moment. Sound like mind freak. One more. Man, they got a lot of tape on this thing. It's childproof. It's childproof. Okay. So right. easy, and Enosh can do it. All right. Are you ready? Get a good shot of it. Here it comes, ready? Dun 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 Alright, Matt, so that wraps it up. That's my next episode! Okay, so let's get in here. Let's get these uh things out of here. As you can tell, I'm gonna, you know, keep the box and everything intact. Um no. go. Take this up. Wow, you know I've heard I've heard things about this that the hilt uh, was pretty heavy, and it is. It is. It's, it's cold. It's been in the car, so it's it's a little chilly. But man, that's some good metal. It's got uh, it's got this cool. It's 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 a very sturdy metal. If you can see here on the side here though, it's got this cool little wire that's running. And now there's been speculation that uh, He's made that Kylo Ren kind of made this himself. That's why it kind of has that fiery look to it, that it's a little different from all the other lightsabers. And uh, that it's kind of just been pieced together. Um, and that he may not have the full knowledge of how to create um, a saber. So that being said, uh, it makes some sense. And there's a little uh, sticker here. I'll pull that off. That off the blade itself. Oh, we're gonna have to wash that off. It's got some sticky residue. That's okay. Um, everything feels pretty good with it. Um, it's a little different. Now, you know, a lot of people have said uh, that they don't like this hilt thing. Um, I guess it would be a little hard maybe to fight with, maybe not. But everybody talks about how they would just, if you're fighting somebody, they could just slide down the sword and cut through there. But how is that? I don't understand because they, they act like the blade just ends there. To me, I would think that the blade would go completely across that and block anything. You might be able to cut the metal. And I'm talking about theoretically what would happen if you had a real lightsaber. <laughs> so, I would be afraid that you'd actually cut your hand, like yeah, you trying to, to handle it. Fight your, cut yeah. your own thumbs off. Yeah, really. Whoops. <laughs> well, fortunately in the Star Wars world, you know, you can just get appendages uh, reattached, no problem. So we're gonna go ahead and take the bottom off here. Screw you get a good picture of this take the screw out there is and that the crystal this is the crystal uh, this is uh it's pretty standard it's kind of like uh, how all my other sabers are this is so cool I can I have the best friends in the world <laughs> they love me and, and and instead of trying to uh, to dissuade me from my uh, <laughs> from my Star Wars obsession they have uh, they have continued to uh, supply me. And uh, Aaron was joking uh, today that uh, I've apparently sparked something in him because uh, he is really excited for the new movie. You wanna tell him about My that? My enthusiasm has been renewed. I grew up um, with the, uh, the prequel movies and then even the, uh, the original trilogy before that. Um, being a, a big fan when I was 
growing up. And so I've kind of lost some of that fire uh, since uh, episode three um, <laughs> being what it was. But, uh, but anyway, uh, with, with the, um, with the new, uh, the new movie coming out in December, I've just all of a sudden been hit with this huge amount of enthusiasm for the stuff that's coming out. So, um, I just bought five books. <laughs> <laughs> Would um, you like to plug those books? Um, the ones I don't remember, remember whichever ones I, <laughs> so, so right now I'm reading Tarkin, yes. um, which is, uh, really cool. It, um, it, Kind of chronicles some of the, the things that uh, Grand Moff Tarkin uh, went through in, in his uh, rise to the top with Vader. Um, and then also Lost Stars just came out recently, so picked that one up. Haven't started that one yet, but uh, we're both excited for that one. By Claudia Gray. Uh, yeah, by Claudia Gray. So uh, that one, and then um, the, there's three of adventure books that they're junior novels that just came out um, each. Focusing on different people. He's even reading the little kid ones now. Even the little kid ones. <laughs> All right, so I have no idea. Oh, I guess oh, that's different. It goes. The blade goes to the. Uh, I bought that. Yep. So apparently, you just uh, drill that into the to the wall, and then this goes through the hole or something like that. The other way. Yeah, uh, this it's way. Gonna, it's gonna be well, so it's gonna rest on. That's gonna be facing the ground, so flip it around. So it goes in through that way. Take it off. Take and it. rests it on that. All right. And then turn it upside down. That way. Mhm. Mm no, that's, no, that's, that's the, the way you just thing. had it. It's the same thing. What? How are we? Have doing the this? engineer help. Okay. How many people does it take to play the music? What what was it? You heard me. <laughs> well why do you need this anyway? We're right, we're, we're, yeah, exactly. We're gonna hang it up later. But uh for now, let's uh fire it up for the first time. Are you ready? I've been ready for a week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like I feel like I should do this. There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Oh, sick! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Look how awesomely bright that is. Even in the dark. And I would have just sliced my forearm open. <laughs> so, you know, you got man. You have to get used to this thing. I always like doing this. Still looks cool in film. Oh, I put a hole in my other forearm. <laughs> I guess I gotta get the technique down. But, uh, there you have it. The Kylo Ren Force Effects lightsaber. The Force Awakens comes out in December. I've got the greatest friends in the world. This has been my favorite episode of The Toy Room. Join us again for another episode.